Hello and welcome again to the Company Interiors channel here on YouTube. My name's Nick Clark and today I'm here to answer some of the questions that we've been sent on moss walls and in particular what sort of varieties of moss do we use to actually create these products. So we're talking about moss walls such as this behind me, moss frames, moss planters and various other videos that we have here on YouTube. Now I want to get you a sample of some of this product because I really really want you to try and get into designing your own scheme whether it's a small planter of some description or it's an entire wall. So let's get started with some of the questions that we've been sent in and then I'm going to just show you some of the products that we use here and answer as many of the queries as I can as we go along. So number one, what sort of moss is used for a moss wall? So all of this material is preserved uh, it requires no watering or no maintenance so there are a whole bunch of questions on that so we start off here with flat moss so this is preserved flat moss this is the sample that I want to send you and there is a link in the description where you can just enter your details and I will get this in the post for you if you can just cover the postage for me so flat moss is used in several products walls frames wrapping Kudoku style bonsai plants. It's a very versatile uh, material which can create some wonderful, wonderful products of which we produced a few videos on. So that is flat moss. What sort of moss is used and how long will the moss last for? So this moss being stabilized will easily last you for five to six years. Um, you will have some you will have some reduction in the color this is this one behind me we built about around about a year ago um, and all I notice is is that when the new product arrives so this is one of the boxes that we we send out so it comes in a box such as that you can see the massive vibrant color of the moss itself now that is a food uh, is a food coloring perfectly harmless um, sometimes when it's used in some of the kudoko um, planting products like we were showing you before you will water this plant and you get a bit of green dye come out of it it's just food coloring so there is no issues with that whatsoever so what is another question that we've got does a moss wall smell well when this product actually arrives in the boxes it is from the mainly from the forest of scandinavia um, but also um, a lot of other northern countries in the world where this is farmed it is a preserved eco-friendly material from sustainable sources it is not taken from the wild um, it comes from various farms from the supplies that we use and it does not have a smell as such but even when you have the product arrive you can see that the uh, pine cones and pine needles are still in the product and you know it's a very versatile product um, but it doesn't really have any smell or certainly when a whole wall is built you will have a, a sense of smell to start with but then that will dissipate. Um, preserved moss varieties now what we show you here are three forms of mosses that we use predominantly on these products only because they are very robust and they are very stable so if you order a sample you have an option to of actually getting a sample box of the lichen so this is one of the varieties that is the smaller sample the larger boxes come in huge, there's a huge quantity of this material. This is a fantastic product, a very sinewy design, uh, strands of a natural material that look fantastic in planters. Um, also, are they are used on walls. Now, just as a word of warning, when you are creating moss walls, you have to be quite careful about some of the products that are on the market. Some of these moss walls um, will come in panels and they are using this 
lichen or it's sometimes called reindeer moss and I would just tend to do as a bit of a review for you that I've used this material on this wall and I don't favor it as much on larger surfaces because really what you're wanting to do with this is you're wanting to just cut the bottom of it off to create a flat surface that you can then glue. It's very spongy, it's not as flat and secure as some of the other products. So the flat moss will be something that we use and then we will use this which is a bun moss. So the bun moss comes in um, comes in these larger circular sizes, various forms. We've used it on some of the other videos on the channel to create um, some of the frames. You know, it looks fantastic in this particular format. If we just show you this frame here. So the frame that we designed in one of the other videos is using the bun moss, is using the flat moss, and then is using small sections of the lichen as, a, as features. So, you have to just be careful of the adhesive that you're going to use. So I hope you've enjoyed this short clip into what sort of varieties of moss are there on the market and what products are you going to use. If you like this sort of stuff, please subscribe to our channel. Click the notification bell because we've got videos coming out all the time on all these products. Thanks very much.